I've gathered several top-level Minecraft speedrunners to react to three back-to-back lesser-known Minecraft speedruns. But there is a catch. One of the three is secretly faked by none other than the world record holder Cube1337. Can Cube fool them with a cheated speedrun, or can these pros spot the odd run out? Also, not too many people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. This time joining us, we have once again Curryway and the back-to-back -back champ, Feinberg. Next up, we have the commentator and top-level runner, Fulham. Welcome back, Curryway. How are you feeling going into the third odd run out? I'm 0 for 1. I missed the second one because I don't know well you. And I'm ready to redeem myself. That's what I'm here to do. I'm ready to I'm ready to go one and one. Welcome back, Feinberg. You are two for two so far. Are you gonna go three for three? Of course I'm gonna go three for three. Welcome, Fulham. How are you feeling going into this? Feeling pretty good. I mean, I'm run down with COVID at the moment, and that's gonna be my excuse if I mess this up. Having commentated over hundreds, if not thousands of runs already. Hopefully I would know when someone's cheating, but I'm sure every single runner has said that. Okay, shipwreck off the jump, no trees, don't see any kelp, no dolphin. This ravine is enterable. This is a crazy fast potential overworld, but I don't think it is. I don't see any bubbles. No, this is my pet peeve. When people do multi and they leave the paused instances on the overlay. Hopefully it's a fast run. Shipwreck, no trees. Perfect amount of uh, materials from that shipwreck right there. Pretty standard, stick moment. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Nice food chest. Having eight bread out of a shipwreck is actually really, really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the TNT. No. No. There's TNT in that chest. My king. All right. They didn't get the TNT. That's kind of a big L, but they could just be forgetful or a little silly at times. Okay. Now, to me, a sub 15 runner probably would think about resetting. You saw that kelp in the distance. You saw that there was ocean ruins and you didn't see that this was actually enterable at all. Oh, diamonds. Are they going to stop and get the diamonds? It's literally on the way. No, no diamonds. Oh my gosh. Trash runner, honestly. Oh, they could have fixed it. Oh, this is so bad because then they have to grab another lava, like two more lavas, three more lavas. Oh no. Load in the bastion. Where is it? There it is. Through a wall. Of course, the worst direction possible. Wouldn't It'd be great if we had TNT. Should have gotten the TNT. Seems like they did their pie chart there by standing still. It was covered up by the multi instance, so couldn't really tell, but it seemed that way, which is, of course, like something that most people do on the way to the bastion in the nether to try and find where that fortress is. So, what do we got? We got bridge. Looks like there's a triple chest, so they should be good in that aspect. Very nice. This terrain is actually really nice once they got up here. Oh, the whole chalice? No way. 13, I guess. Once again, TNT would have been useful. Why are we digging those? What the frick? What is happening? Gets a lot of gold, trying their best not to use wood. Now, why is that? Because I don't think any runner really thinks I'm purposefully not going to use wood in this bastion route. Okay, up we go. Six obsidian, 10 obsidian. They're not even going to check the other side. That's, oh no, he's getting the pigs. Okay, never mind. Should see some pyre maybe, or I can't see the pie because of the multi. Once again, why I don't like it, but they're doing fine. Zero pearls. Oh my God. What a bozo. Oh, just kidding. 12. That's not going to be enough though. Give, give them at least one more. One more. Boom. You're out. Gone. Play for the high roll. Yes. Solid block. Boom, you're gone. 20 obby. No pearls. Okay, there are the pearls. Is this how you'd go about finding the fortress? You feel like, it feels like you're directly going in a straight line just because the Pydar told you to, when it could be equally probable that it's diagonal uh, in either direction. Good basalt nav. Something I take pride in, basalt movement. They're actually killing it. Unfortunate whack side of the fortress. But what are you going to do? Yeah, man. I don't know if any runner finds that. I do not know if any other normal runner finds this. That seems suspicious to me. This person's like too careful. They're very, there's like too much going on in each step rather than just like going. First rod. Oh my god, nice strays. This is how I would cheat a run. Re-running the seed specifically for three stray blazes entering the bad side of the fortress. These strays are pretty pog. You can't really cheat these though. You could like run the seed like 10 times until you get good strays, I guess. Okay, where are we going? We know fortress nav, right? Bam. Oh my god, more stray blazes. Holy cow. Who needs a spawn 
Connor. Let's build the portal. Let's freaking go. 130, negative 80. No good blind cards. Good run. PB pays. 20 Arby in nine minutes. See, this is exactly what I was mentioning earlier. By this runner not using the wood in the Bastion, it made me think, why is it so important for you to not use the wood? Instead, you know, grab small one blocks here, two blocks there. Ocean. Oh my God. I see it. Okay. They get the one eye. Are we doing a second eye or are we just doing the one eye? I think we're doing one eye. Okay. Very Chad. No calculator, but they're going. I guess it makes sense they're not in the ring. Oh, that's a good direction. Oh, it is actually a good direction. Oh, it's whack too. It's not both up. So you gotta go far, yeah. Maybe that terrain to the left with the netherrack. Is this one gonna be ocean as well? Oh no! No way, man. No way, man. That's crazy. Does that show nerves? Maybe they think, damn, I want PB pace here. And that's why they're maybe they're getting nervous. They're just sending it here. Putting their cords up. Oh no! Oh no! That is so sad. Oh my goodness. Hopefully it's all ocean. Well, that was something. I looked away for one second. <laughs> Just like assuming they'd be in the portal animation. <laughs> they weren't. This is 40 seconds. Has access to wood. So my whole spiel about the wood earlier is completely null and void. Ocean travels really nice though, right next to a swamp. So not gonna throw an eye to see if it snaps to the coast is a little bit weird, but that's fine. Could just be calculator. More ocean. Yeah, hit every lily pad, actually. Damn, this is way better pace if I didn't misplace Abby. Wait, is that the portal run? I see some light coming from the ocean there. It's not unheard of. It's quite lucky, but definitely not unheard of. Two eyes as well. Down, bam. How many eyes? Two eye, it's cheated. You can't spawn with more than one. Go, 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 go. Whip it, whip it. You can click. So for those who don't know, if you click an eye of Ender on a portal frame, that's already active, it won't throw it. So you can like whip your mouse, like hit the DPI, go to like a nerdy mouse speed, you know, and like whip the mouse all the way around. One anchor three bed, not the easiest, only four explosives to use here. Clearly trying to remove some of the glowstone and only removing one at a time and still has two. This guy's on crazy PB base though. Why did they throw one, one glowstone and keep three? Throw out another one, you don't need two. Oh, this is so good height. Oh my God, perfect height. And it flips. Oh my gosh, this is really close. How do they get the axe off? Wait, how? Wait, no way. That is so close. Just about sees it out. That's crazy. A good run though, a good run. Okay, Curryway, you have seen the first run. What are you thinking and how confident are you with your guess? I think it's a bit fishy that they didn't look at their coordinates when building the second portal, but they threw it on an axis. Like they were looking straight at like straight ahead. So they already knew what their coordinates were from like the last pearl. And they were probably like, I'm just gonna send it here. The terrain is fine. They're not off scot-free, but that is definitely the fishiest thing about this run. The seed wasn't good enough to cheat. They misplaced Obby. Like I'm not cheating a run misplacing obby you'd have to be like way too smart i feel like that's a dead giveaway that it's real because like you just run it again and don't misplace the obby <laughs> there were parts in that run that i was thinking this seems suspicious i don't think a runner of your caliber should be playing this seed or i don't think a runner of your caliber would be playing this way for example not using the wood in the bastion and having to use other blocks seemed a bit suspicious um but then when they were nervous and placed the obsidian in the portal that made me think maybe this is real actually maybe Maybe they're on crazy good pace that they've never been on before and they're just making small mistakes. Oh, this is a sick skin. This person wins the coolest skin award. Furnace Pyre. Oh my God, I love this run. Timer mod, cat jam, maybe some ninja brain bot action. Four hay bales, left-handed. Oh my God. Okay, we don't see this player's PB or anything, which makes me think uh, I, sort of anyone would run out this seed if they can see the um, village and the lava pool. But I don't think every runner would get seven hay bales. 21 bread is a lot. Oh, it's garbage. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my God. Reset, reset. Actually having the gall to play out the seed Mad respect. Reset, reset, reset. You're on timer mod. What is your PB? What is the reset efficiency? What did we see in the seed that what if it says to keep going? Nice, bro. Average. That's crazy. Now that blacksmith was really nice. Wow. Able to get the iron pickaxe in the overworld. Super nice. But pretty, pretty damn lucky. What are we waiting on here? Gravel? We need gravel. That's what we need. And then surely we kill golem, right? Surely we kill the golem and don't enter with a wood pick. It's not even gonna be a sub three minute enter, which is it feels so weird. Feels like this seed could have been played so much faster. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> That's terrifying. I feel like the golem could walk down one and just deck this guy. Tell me they mine the gold block and make a gold pick. I'll block. Yes. Make the gold pickaxe. Oh my god, golem is going psycho. Golem going psycho mode. Oh my god. Who let this golem go there? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice nether, dude. Stables. Okay. This one might be the cheated one just because it's the better seed of the two. If you had me guess between the two. But Nerdy, last two videos, the cheater run's been the third run. So if I have to take a 50, might do that again. Oh, you could rip a nasty triple chest with how much gold you're entering with. You could rip such a nasty triple chest. We need to check the freaking gaps. Check the gaps. Average stables routing connoisseur. Eight pearls, pearl hang. This is advanced tech of eight pearl hang. I'll be surprised. There's the obby. Tons of pearls, tons of string, tons of beds, tons of everything. Nine more obsidian from trades is asking for a lot. Oh, nice pearls. Nice pearls. Okay, you're out. You're not getting six more gold. You have 80 fire res, seven beds, two stacks of pearls. You're out. Goodbye. Nice. I'll hit the pearl. Yeah, that's better turn. Actually, on the right. Go, go, go. Do we have no food. Oh, we have 22 bread. I forgot. Let's freaking go. 5RD used as well in this warped forest here to increase the blaze spawn rates. That's really smart. Doesn't seem to have paid off. There's only a few gray spawns. There's blazes literally everywhere. This spawner is going nuts. Should be a pretty fast fortress split, assuming you get any rates. I don't think bad rates is necessarily an indication that it's not cheated. The 5RD is working like pretty well. I guess that's the point. Be careful. Oh! Bad pearl as well. No. Watch out. Oh my. Holy. <laughs> Where's that pearl going, bro? No way. Oh my, there's like four withers. How many? One, two, three. I thought I saw a fourth. No, it's a normal skeleton. And an enderman. It's a party. Gets a seventh rod on the way for no real good reason. This is a uh, very low coordinates to send your blind travel out. Oh, hold the obby. Oh my god, this just scares me. Don't misplace it like the last runner. Let's freaking go. You're doing a good job. For the first eye, we get the calc. Good pearl throw for calc. Very off angle. Should have a pretty high percentage here on the second throw. Almost always be 100%. It looks like it actually did change quite a bit. I would say 300. Another pet peeve of mine. Doesn't have the bar on the overlay. So is it in this chunk? Is it 400 blocks away? Is it 3,000? Never know. Because you're not telling us. You're not telling us where it is. How am I supposed to know? Like, what's the base? No way. Ocean exposed again, maybe? Two eye breaks. Got seven rods, though, so... You gotta be close at this point. Could be this coast, actually. Oh, we didn't have 100% accuracy on the calc. It's okay. Surely now we do. Second eye break. That's tough. Looking for a dolphin. This run is clearly very good, but it's made some really silly mistakes. I see it. I don't see it. Sorry. Where is this thing? This blind actually was bad. They just hightailed it really fast. Yeah, wow. This blind was like 1,500 blocks. Are these mistakes just put in here to fabricate it looking like it's real? Maybe. Maybe. Wow, that's that's tough. Not really sure where we're going. I don't even know if they know where they're going, considering they threw another eye on their line. I don't know what their standard deviation is, what the percentages are. Like, apparently, we need wood. Oh, yeah, because we need nine beds. This chunk. Boom. Down we go. It's the ice spot. Oh, sees it. Nice. Good Fyro's law. Two eye as well. 14 minutes in the stronghold. Oh, oh, go, go, go. Oh, fall damage. Fyro's law. That's actually epic. See the nav? What's up? That? Ah, now that I'm thinking about it, that was a little OMG kind of shake there. Five bed. Oh. Oh. Easily. Sorry. Doubted them. Somehow went through all 21 bread from that they got from the village at the very start. Clean four bed though. This one's a tough one. Another like perfect height dragon. Wow. That's the cheated part. You've seen the first two runs of the first two, which do you think is more sus or are they both just real? I think the first one's probably more suspicious. I don't know. I'm really stuck on the person not looking at their coordinates when they're blinding because like, I guess that's just something I, or not for blinding, for educated. Like that's always something you've got to be on top of. You've seen the first two runs. What are you thinking? Both real or is one of them more fake than the other? This one's a little more fake, but I think they're both real. Okay. I think the first one's definitely real. Like if you have me choose between the two right now, I'd say run two. I need to see run three as always nerdy. Run one was suspicious because I think there was some mistakes throughout, but I, I kind of found ways to cope with those mistakes. In the second run, though, the mistakes felt like there was such a big disparity between the level of mistakes and the level of skill. Like, it seemed like that runner was so much more skilled than the mistakes they were making, so I'd probably lean towards run two. Oh, this skin is wild. I'm digging this skin. Holy cow. The skin game on this, except for run one. Run one, I'm sorry. Your skin game was not there. The last run was fake, and the last video was a Savannah Village, so I'm already a little sus of them oh double bucket oh my god understands which houses to check and gets three buckets dripped out with the pink leather pants dude that's a crazy choice oh my god this run i love this run so much i'm so attached i really hope
hope this person is not the cheater. There's no way, there's no way you cheat a run where you trade for leather, colored leather pants from a leather worker. What the heck? This person's straight trolling. If you were actually genius, you trade with this smithing table guy for a stone axe for one emerald. Wherever he is, you try to find him. And then you could insta-kill the golem and make a stone pick. Where is this player gonna go for lava though? Just high roll in the desert? Ooh, only three iron. That's unlucky as well. Three iron sucks to be you. I would just reset the C though. Like, why are you playing this? I guess they just don't make a pickaxe and get lint or they'd be funless. Okay, baller, that's fine. I, 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 oh, convenient lava pool. Sussy. Not even wood lighting correctly. No, no, no way. They forego. Oh, okay, they're gonna rebuild it. Okay, I, I don't hate that play. Oh, oh they remember they need to wood light. That's what happened. Very genius. Good recovery. I love this run so much, though. I really hope this person isn't cheating. You have four instances. Why are you entering at three minutes 20? This is not the sort of level of runner that someone with three instances, four instances has. No, nah, this person's straight gooping. They also used like 18 logs on that setup. Dude, this seed sucks. I hate that this is probably the fishiest run so far, though, because I really like this run. I love that this person got pants and I love their skin and three buckets. Like, this run is sick. Why are we digging here? The bash is to the right and the terrain here is not good it's open ish but not really wow look this somewhat recent we just saw that the uh the other instances in the background also reset because it had been five minutes bastion pretty stable do you get it no do you get it because i said pretty stable it's stable's bastion i get the joke it was a good one feinberg thank you go up routing the double triple good movement we're not routing the double triple we're just insta going the good gap what oh uh I, 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 um... Chug of bread, maybe? Dude, I don't know. Again, I don't know if it's the second or the third run. I could not tell you. Go find Abby. Go find Abby. Explore the world. I'm gonna say it now. This one just doesn't feel right. Something about it doesn't feel quite right. Why are you hopping in there? What's... What's the... What are you looking for? You need Oppie. Go and search the chest. Why are we still here? Just go. Are we actually waiting for 10 Obsidian? I guess we could. But I feel like that's just the incorrect play. Was this a triple also? Oh my god, it was a triple. I didn't even realize. All right. What clutch? Oh, and there's the Ford. Right. That's why this run is probably a PB. Because it goes from an atrocious seed that nobody in their right mind plays to, ah, right, no, this nether is just kind of cracked out the waz. Okay, spawner time. This is good fortress nav. Probably would have gone straight. Yeah, straight makes more sense than right here. Ooh, whip your head around more so I get confused where you're going. What are your coords? I didn't see. Are they going to pull them up before they blind travel? Blaze betting as well. Good. Don't know why you're not topside blaze betting. Oh my god, nerdy. Amazing idea. Odd run out, but for AA. Feinberg, I have a question. Is there ever a time where you're not thinking about AA, Feinberg? No, man. There's no Mushroom Island this episode, and I'm disappointed. And okay, nice. Six, seven, goodbye, we're out. Saving the one fire res, actually remembering to save the fire res, or the fire res, the, the fire charge, genius. Ocean, no way. This runner should be freaking out, playing it pretty calm right now. No boat? I feel like that one mega mind meme. You don't need more beds, you have enough. Where'd that I go? Don't tell me you have to throw another one. What are we doing? This is so over involved, number one. And we're throwing an eye again. The F3C, like looking in the vague direction. Ninja brain bot, epic mode. A nice pathing from this runner to know to go just in this direction. Oh, I thought it opened up into a river. I guess it doesn't, that's annoying. Throw another eye. Doesn't look like it changed too much. It's hard to tell without coordinates, obviously. Again, I don't know what coordinates they blinded at and, I, and they haven't opened their F3 menu in a while, so I don't even know if they're anywhere near the ring. Do they know if they're anywhere near the ring? Choose another random spot. F3C just like five miles below the eye. Randomly mess around with your render distance on, on the way. This, I, I don't get what this runner's doing half the time. It may not even be cheated. I'm just a bit confused. <laughs> Pretty normal so far in this overworld though. They have a very quirked up way of measuring the ninja brain bot though. Just like catch it when it's on the eye. I see it, let's see it again. Throw it and F3C was what's going. Yep, like <laughs> just don't look at the actual eye. Like what? I don't think it's within a hundred blocks or anything. I'm assuming now that they've thrown three eyes, though, their calc is going to be pretty down close to 100%, even with how they're doing it. Beeline straight to the portal room. Yep. Ah, oh, this run seems so suspicious. But there's something in my head saying maybe this is just a runner having a bad day or a really good day. Oh my god, the instant F. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. There's nothing really fishy about that. Damn, instant perch as well. A little bit lucky, but good job. Oh, dude, this is so difficult. Bam, 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 nice.
Are they ripping Insta? Oh my god, what a perch. These Dragonites, man. Beautiful. First of all, before anything else, what did you think of the last run? I loved it. The fact that this person traded for pants is something that I will remember and need to do in, in runs because that is hilarious. I love that so much. The lava pool in the beginning was a bit fishy, but I could totally buy them seeing that. And I get the play of not going for the triple chest. And I feel like if you were playing it as like a set seed, you would just try and roll triple chest. So this runner, just a little corked up. Leather pants, eye measurements, the fort was fine. I don't know. That run seems so stupid. Respectfully, if this is someone's PB, you are a far better player than this. Do not run those seeds. Click the reset button more often and you will get a better time. Like this player should not be playing a 16, 19 as their PB. They are a probably 12, 13 minute runner. Okay, Curryway, you've seen all all three runs which do you think is the odd run out i'm going with run number two do you have a final answer i'm going oh my god nerdy it's the second one the second one's fake i'm gonna go run two run two final answer oh. and the odd run out is run number two good job yeah. curry way you got yeah. it right you nailed it if you had to guess who do you think ran run number two. I'm gonna guess tap L ran seed number two. That is a good guess, but unfortunately you're a little bit off skill wise, I would say. Run number two was actually ran by the world record holder cube 1337. <laughs> and the odd run out is run number two. Good job, oh Feinberg. Uh, Once again, who, nailing it. Was it Xylanox in the it left It was hand? not Xylanox. It was actually the world record holder cube. You had cube fake that? I had cube <laughs> fake that, yes. <laughs> and the odd run out is run number two. Good job, Fola. Yeah. This run was faked by the world record holder, Cube1337. Very good job figuring it out. Massive shout out to Cube, by the way, for helping me with this. Make sure to go check him out. Links in the description.